Hey everyone, Chris the Dark Toy Lord here. Thank you very much for tuning in. We're going to be taking a look at this Big Hero 6 Baymax action figure. Now this is the Baymax in his prototype armor. Real quick look at the packaging. Up here we have the Big Hero 6 logo with a picture of uh, Baymax in his red armor plus Hero running his back. Uh, we see Baymax here. Sorry about that. We see Baymax here sealed in his plastic tray. Uh, we're going to go ahead and spin some around to the back. We have other characters from the movie, other toys available from this series. And that's pretty much that. So let's go ahead, open up this packaging. We'll take a closer look at, at the action figure. Okay, so first off, we're going to go ahead with our obligatory height measurement. So we're going to break out the trusted tape measure. And let's go in here and take a look. Four inches tall. So one thing that does drive me nuts about Baymax in general um, is he has such small feet so it's kind of and he can be you'd think that with the big belly he'd be uh, have like a low center of gravity but when he's hollow and those arms have so much weight to, to him he is kind of top heavy plus I have this textured surface that I do my reviews on it kind of makes it hard to get him to stand up see oh you son of a gun Here we go. All right, let's go ahead and take a closer look at his articulation. He is a smaller figure, so my hands kind of cover up a lot of the uh, workspace here. So I'm going to try my best to keep him uncovered. Uh, his neck does spin around. It's a real tight joint. His shoulders will go up and down and they also spin all the way around. He has a hinge here in his elbow. We can do a 90 degree angle there. These joints are duplicated on the other side. Does not have any wrist articulation or any sort of biceps, bicep swivel. Does not swivel at the elbow. So that's pretty much that there. He has no torso articulation, no waist articulation. The next point of movement would be down here at the hips. And these honestly, they do sometimes help you get him standing straight up, but this is pretty much a, this. They spin around, and that's it. And so, it, and this one right here for me, this spins a little bit too, uh, a little bit more loose than I would prefer. It kind of sometimes makes him fall down even more easily than he would just because of the top heaviness. All right, so here's a quick close-up of the action figure. Now, if you've seen the mo movie, you know that Baymax is a pretty simple design uh, by himself without any armor. And then when they add arm armor to him, still the armor is pretty simple. But I like that they did go in here and add some details that they didn't necessarily need to do for such a small figure. But here's the uh, indication of that area where he has his personality chip. So some nice padding here for his armor. Nice paneling here in the back. And you can see how the, uh, in the indication of his uh, belly armor being uh, in segments. So it is a small toy, so I won't really fault them that much for this. So you can see that uh, the paint job on the eyes, it's a little bit off. Um, those circular indentations should be completely filled with black paint, but they did miss it a little bit. So there you have it. Just a quick little review for you. Um, if you have any particular questions, please let me know down below. Uh, if you're a fan of Big Hero 6, I do recommend picking this up. Um, just because Baymax by himself, if you know the character, you know he's awesome. Uh, so I can't recommend, or I mean, I can't not recommend any of the toys. Uh, so yeah, if you have the chance, go ahead and pick this guy up. And as always, I do thank you for tuning in. Please remember to comment, like, and subscribe. And until next time, we'll talk to you later.